Now here is some uh, some of the pellets that I added some silver to, which uh, I just uh, can get it at a art supply store. Just some silver powder, so I kind of stuck it in the pedal, pestle and ground it in a little bit. It doesn't take much to kind of cover it, and then you can just work it in. But this is kind of uh, hardened, <laughs> uh, so I'm going to drop it back in here, and it can uh, get pliable again as it sets there and warms up. So I, I have this, this is a part from a, a light stand, just a quarter twenty thread with a knob that rises and lowers the stand. Now the quarter twenty you can buy in any hardware store, hard, hardware store no problem. Um, unfortunately, the ones that match the stands, you got a special order from the manufacturer. So, I kind of took uh, the opportunity to make a little mold. And I'm going to uh, put this in. And then, grab my, you know, standard quarter 20. But see, that's going to be tough. I don't want to carry around a, uh, a, screwdriver, a screwdriver to do this. So, I'm going to place some of that in there, then set that in there. And uh, we'll have another knob. Try to smooth that out a little bit. Tool here. This stuff once it dries, um, I actually cut some with uh, scissors. You can easily take a knife to this edge and clean that up with no for with no problem. that's square. So that should dry or cool down I should say and I should be able to pull that out with no problem and finish it up. In the meantime the leftover I can drop back in the water and make something else out of. I want to show you the silver one. into uh, whatever you would like. And you can keep doing this, you can add to it. Um, and you can add different uh, colors and it is paintable too, but the, the, the good thing about putting this in there and mixing it in there is that then it's solid, so it won't uh, chip like paint would paint uh, paint would uh, peel or chip off. I gotta find something to do this with. So I'm gonna put it back in here to keep it uh, pliable. 